Yeah, well, Ben, the president of Thomas Hooker Brewing Company tells me they are noticing some cutbacks. He recently found out that they're going to be getting about 70% of their typical allotment of CO2 from their supplier due to a plant failure, but he's hoping they'll be able to make do. It's a problem bubbling to the surface for some Connecticut breweries. A nationwide shortage of carbon dioxide, a product vital for companies producing beer and carbonated beverages. When we don't have CO2, we have to shut down operations. Kurt Cameron, president of Thomas Hooker Brewing Company, tells me it's a problem they've been noticing over the last year or so, and they're starting to see cutbacks. We are told that is from a myriad of different reasons. It could be uh, an ethanol plant being shut down where they get a lot of CO2 from. This time I was just reading the letter, it's because a, a plant failure somewhere out in Illinois, which our supplier, American Carbonation, gets you know, a large portion of their CO2 from. CO2 is what's used to make beer and soda carbonated or bubbly. But Cameron says it's also used for a variety of other functions around the brewery. Every single tank gets purged with CO2, so no air touches the beer. The canning lines run on CO2, and so the CO2 is used in a lot of different you know, aspects throughout the brewery. Back East Brewing Company in Bloomfield is also keeping an eye on the CO2 shortage. Co-founder Tony Karlowitz says they're under a contract and are doing okay for now. We just got filled up, so we're good for uh, a few weeks. Our supplier has said we'll be okay, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to get through this. But Karlowitz says he has seen the nationwide shortage get worse over the last couple of years and it hasn't been an easy time for breweries, dealing with everything from pandemic shutdowns to higher supply chain costs and even an aluminum shortage. You never know. Things, if they get worse before they get better, uh, could be a potential problem, but it's definitely something we're very concerned with. Cameron is hoping things will get better when the plant is back. He tells me that they have been looking into replacing CO2 for some of their production, but it would be very costly. We're live in Bloomfield tonight. Alicia Machado, Fox 61 News.